Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are On, on the, the Off-Ramp. Ramp. We're here with Sandy Johnson installing the Xantrex off-grid system. We have already installed two Xantrex solar flex panels and we've changed our electrical power box and put in a brand new electrical power box due to some previous electrical failures. Now we have a 2006 Free Spirit LTV leisure travel van and it was good that that was checked and that that was changed. In today's video, we will be installing a Xantrax 2000 watt inverter as well as a Xantrax 240 amp hour lithium battery. If you have any questions about this install as you watch this video or any of our other installation videos, please leave a comment and we will try to find the answer for you and get back to you. So our okay. next job now. Next job is the inverter. Here's the Xantrax 2000 watt XC. So this has a battery charger, 80 amp uh, inside, as well as the uh, inverter to invert battery power to 120. We're going to put it in this panel. And yesterday I prepared the wheel well so that we could put that in there. Took some carpet out. And right. Put Reflectix in. That's um, fire retardant. We didn't want any of this carpeting exposed because an inverter can throw out sparks while it's running. Okay, so we're going to generally put it like that. And now we have to cut some ventilation holes in this side of the panel up front for the air. The fans suck air in from here and blow it out the front here. So we need a ventilation up front for the air to escape and um, an opening back here right. so the fans can get air. So that's what we're going to be doing next. Perfect. Well, this is waiting to hold, I think it's the inverter and the DC-DC box. And those two components could give off quite a bit of heat. They have fans in them. So as a result, this box, which, you know, was a storage bin, it has the water pump in it already. And um, I think we didn't put very much in here because I didn't ever want to crowd out the water pump. But so now that Sandy and Wade have cut out as you can see here, a ventilation hole on this side, but they also cut one out. Let me just move some of these wires or maybe you can see through it, but look at that. They've cut out another, there's my fingers. They've cut another ventilation hole up there and Sandy's bought a really nice uh, grid covering to put over top of it so that it will really finish it off nicely on the inside and look pretty good. So we've cut some notches here oh, to okay. make it easier. Because um, we're going to put screws and then we can slide it down. That'll make it easier for us to install. Okay. But first I have to install a case ground uh, that will go to the negative bus bar. And this is just a protection if you have some something wrong with the wiring. You know, something happens. Keeps the case from getting electrified. Okay. You know, so in case something inside was touching this. It would shock you so you always have case ground to protect well i don't know based on my little experience i would say xantex goes out of the way to make their units or their pieces look oh. nice oh yeah right definitely nice like the battery and, looks and, great and, and easy you know and easy? Easy, yeah The wire is going to go in these little lever connectors. And then you just flip them closed. They're very strong. This pinches down on the wire. You just want to, you know, uh. snug it. I mean, you're not trying to, you know, really compress it or anything. But that keeps the wires in place. Yeah. From sliding in and out. Moving around. Yeah. Okay, now you have to make sure that you get these wires lined up properly. I mean, you say lined up properly all the way in. Okay. No, they go into holes. Each wire into a separate hole? Yeah. I'm not sure I'm and getting they, that on the video. And they, ha they have to, 
Yeah, I think that shows it. Okay. They have to, um, and they have to be in a specific order. Oh, wow. Neutral ground load, which is um, black. Okay. Then now you, you're, then now you you're flip the flippers clip. down. Oh, yeah, the ones you're And then you want to pull on a little bit to make sure. That they're tight that, in there. Yeah, that they're secure in there. Hmm. Oh. And then you can go ahead and tighten this. Snug this up on the wire. There, see? Now it's nice and secure. Remember, I've been explaining AC in and AC out from shore power. From the shore power side of the bus, it comes in this wire. This is in, and then it just passes through and comes out the out, which feeds the side of the breaker box that you want the inverter to supply when you're on battery. So it's very important that you make sure you keep track of which one's in and which one's out. Right. Yeah, so I was marking my Good. wires. Yeah, Sandy, you seem very conscientious about labeling everything to well saves headache later on. For sure. Yeah, that's how you keep from having mistakes. Actually, when I first did, when I did this the very first time, I did wire it wrong. I had mm. the neutral and ground wires reversed. Spots. Yeah. And I had published a, my guide how to oh, do no. this. And somebody called me and said do you do you really want uh were you really supposed to you know switch those wires and i was like what are you talking about and i looked at it and i'm like oh my gosh no they're not supposed to be switched um and so uh so i was like thank you for telling me especially when you're writing a guide for others so then so follow. then i you know i went uh, I revised it right away and then I went and I said, you know, sorry gang, I made a mistake and I've, you know, put out a new revision. Yeah, I didn't want anybody else to follow me and do the wrong thing. The neutral is very important to be lined up with the, with whether it's natural earth ground or chassis ground and so by switching them there was no way for the system to know oh, yeah. is this chassis ground or, sh or earth ground because you have to keep those separate according to um, code you can't you know you don't want to run systems with different neutral okay so you want neutral neutral ground is bare and load is black and are are the holes in there identified as that like how do you know? yeah it says ngl oh okay all right so now we have the ability to pass shore power through the inverter and power the breaker box and this will actually run without 12 volt power because when it's on shore power you can't turn it off or anything because they don't you know they they made it that way you know when you're on shore power you're you want to rely on shore power and so if you don't have battery you could still you can still run this as long as you're connected to shore power yeah basically the shore power runs everything about it uh you don't really need the 12 volt part of it until you want to use it to invert the battery power into residential power. So then the next thing we have to do is connect the battery wires to this, to these two, positive and negative. Okay. And then it would be just, it would be completely hooked up. Let me zoom in on this. So, you know, basically it's just five wires. So for the installing the Zantrex these, inverter, yeah, these it's Zantrex, a pretty simple. Yeah, they're very simple. Uh, I like Zantrex because they're very compact. You know, this is only like four inches by 16 inches by 12 inches. As we got started with this idea, knowing that this box would be the box, so glad that this fits in there. Right, yeah. It's you don't there. have to really give up any space. I mean, this Maybe. was dead space. So the next thing that we've got to do, we have all these cables yes, here. Yes, These are all 12 volt. Okay. So we've got all the 120 stuff done. The so, new breaker box, the uh, connection to the inverter, all the 120 is done now we have all these wires this plus, is all the stuff you were threading plus the yesterday. battery right we were threading up yesterday through the um underneath mm -hmm. and you see the foam where we yeah. you know closed up it, the brought hole. it in yep. um so and then we would also have two battery cables because the okay. battery is right under there right. and i'm going right to wire this i'm going to wire all this up to a victron Lynx power in 
uh, dual bus bar system. So you'll have a bus bar for all the positive red oh, connections, okay. and then you'll have a bus bar for all the negatives. And these aren't all negatives. We had to use okay. black wire okay. for some positives. But um, oh. this is the Victron Lynx Power In. It's a thousand amp. DC to DC bus bar. So you have okay. so you have both you have a positive bus and then you flip these up and here's your negative bus connections. Wow. It just looks beefy. <laughs> it is beefy. It's cool. Anyway, <laughs> so um so this this is what we're gonna hook all these cables up to. Oh my to power everything because when you have everything feeding off something common, mm -hmm. then it all gets used in a balanced way. And then if you ever wanted to add a second battery, then you just pull the two battery cables and add it to this. You don't mm. have to do a whole bunch okay. of extra rewiring or anything. All right. It will be a way simpler process. Right. <laughs> no climbing under to, the van. I don't yeah. see that in your new yeah. I don't see it in the way. But I'm just saying, yeah. if you wanted to it's add another, or, or even, you know, something else. I mean, I don't know what, but, you know, this gives you, ac you know, access to positive and negative. Yeah. You know, for anything you want to hook up to it. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. And then the last the, thing we need to find a home for is this uh, Zantrax Echo Charge. And this is going to charge the chassis battery oh yeah. anytime the house battery is being charged. So we got a okay. Zantrax product for everything. And actually choosing that product or having that on was, was quite a bit of work to get that figured yeah, out. Yeah, that right? took us a whole day. Yeah. A whole day <laughs> to the cable. Find, the, yeah. find the connections under the driver's seat. The bat on the battery, and then and then really not having it. a space up front to put it. No, yeah. So. And then we found out we couldn't put it up front, so then we ran it all the way yeah. through the underbody, and then up through this hole here. But it's going to be worth it because then you don't have to worry about your chest, your engine battery staying charged. Yeah. Okay, so that's where we're that's at. Good. All right, so let's find a plate. So then this also has to fit in here. We said. Yeah, and it just needs to get ventilation. You know, it just needs to be able to get some air. So, I mean, it might be possible, yeah, oh, yeah. just to put it right there. And I could use two sided tape. We just stick to it there. It and stick it there. Yeah. It would be that simple. What do you right? think about that, Wade? Yeah, I'm, I'm good at that. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that'd be pretty easy. Well, let's see. Hmm. All right, this has <coughs> 22. All right, so that can come out to there. Do you have enough room? If, if we place it this way, do you have Okay, this fancy little piece of woodworking here is to hold the two components that will go into the wheel well. And that will uh, help us be able to put the cables on easier too. Have it on this board and then drill them into the wheel well so that um, it'll all be pretty stable and easy to insert all the cables at the same time instead of putting the components onto the wheel well themselves and then trying to do the cables. So this will work really nicely. Why is the one piece on a skinny board and the other component going to be on those two higher boards? Well. It's to allow for airflow underneath that component, which is the DC DC unit, correct? Yep. So According to. And I want it to be a Phillips because that makes it easier. Okay, so it looks like they're there. getting the two components figured out on this board yeah, that they okay. constructed. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Now the Kisa is getting mounted on there with room for the fan to have some clearance. And the cubby hole that they're putting it in is one of our storage benches. So if you have a free spirit to tend, you better cut some. <laughs> holes for air vents as well which has already been done the air vents have been cut in and we're going to put some screens over top this is looking good oh, so this is the board that they've created mounted up those components yeah and add some water there is a space it goes 
Yeah, that's a good idea. I can see now. I can just have it sitting here. We gotta start making our cake. Okay. There's a green light. The battery is on. Tomorrow we'll do some more cleaning up, but here it is, the proof. The moment the battery's on. Woohoo! Yeah, no Thank kidding. Thank you, Xantrex. Yeah. Great system. Oh, Xantrex, this is going to be a good sleep tonight. There you go. <laughs> now we want to turn the. So turn on the master switch. Yeah. Okay, and I'm then we'll try we... lights. Try. Try one of those. Uh oh. In our excitement, we forgot that we needed to do this 12 volt power switch yeah. as well. So let's remember to do that. And I hear everything clicking. Did the red, red light go on on there? The red light went on up there saying that we have it. <gasps> Lights there. The lights. The fridge. Yeah. <gasps> fridge is on battery. Fridge is on battery. Way to go. Oh, you guys. <laughs> okay, we're plugged into shore power and now we are going to see if all these fancy fuses here. Sandy's turning everything back on. Inverter fan. I hear that. All right. Okay. Where's your microwave? Oh, right there. Uh, here, we have to turn on here. And that works. It's working. So now your water heater. Switch so. the fridge to electric. Yep. And that's going. Cha-ching. We hope this video has given you the kind of confidence or interest in seeing if you could tackle this kind of upgrade in your RV. In next week's episode, we hope to have the Xantrax off-grid system completely installed and running. So we look forward to sharing that with you. Until then, hold, hold your, your plans, plans loosely. loosely.